Hi, this is Father Michael Stala. I am the spiritual director of Hope's Garden. And today we'd like to talk about marriage takes three. So marriage, of course, is between the man and the woman, the bride and the groom. And then the third is God. So whenever we celebrate the sacrament of marriage, we're like very conscious of that fact. A civil marriage is more contractual, and it's actually man, woman, and contract with the government, and the government holds them to this contract. So there is a third in the civil sense of marriage, but in the sacramental sense, it's God. And the priest represents the church as an official witness to the wedding. So who's actually getting married? It's the man and the woman. They're getting married, and I am God's witness that God really wants this marriage, blesses this marriage, and, and holds them to follow through on their promises, on their vows. Um, so this is one of the reasons we do marriage preparation. One of the things we do in marriage preparation, uh, and we have certainly taken this uh, more seriously in, in recent days when divorces become so uh, prevalent, we really ask, do you believe that God has called you to marriage? It's just amazing how many times people kind of make a double take, like, well, how, how would I know if God wants me to get married? Well, I mean, I remember saying to my little nephew, and he was like in the third grade, and he's playing his video game. And I said, do you think you'll be a dad when you grow up like your dad? He doesn't even look up from his game. I don't know. I said, do you think you'd be a priest like Uncle Mike? And he gets real serious, puts down the game and looks at me and says, well, that depends. Well, what's it depend on? If God calls me, I'm not going to be a priest unless God calls me. I went back to his video game. I got to have a high five to my sister. Good job. You're raising this kid right. But that is exactly the answer that should be happening for marriage. Do you believe that God calls you to marriage? It is a sacrament equal in dignity to a priest. Very different in their roles but still highly dignified. It is one of the vocation uh, uh, sacraments. So if God calls you to marriage, then follow the way of the Lord. If God does not do the calling, a lot of times people get married for other reasons. Well, I figure I'm at that age, or this person's as good as another, or we're just, I'm hoping to have kids, or everybody say, I'd be crazy to walk away from this. Or we've had a lot of fun up to now, so why not? And there's a lack of reverence for the fact that this is vocation. And if you don't think it's God calling you to marriage, uh, well, eventually those other reasons, they eventually uh, don't pass the, the test of time. And so we have to start with, does God call you to marriage? There is the second question then, is this the person God calls you to marry? And that's the second question, but we have to start with the first. Does God call you to marriage? And then the second is, is this the person God calls you to marry? And so we try to take very seriously that. How would I know? I don't have a crystal ball to tell you. And if you're looking for the per perfect person to marry, I, I got news for you. You don't deserve him or her. There is no perfect person and you're not perfect either. That's not really the goal. So we have this romanticized, like movie kind of idea of marriage. But when you think of it as a vocation from God, it's it's got to be treated kind of the same way that you would take treat going into a religious community or becoming a priest. It takes discipline. Uh, there's a long time of preparation. That's actually your engagement. Take your time with your engagement to make sure that you're ready and that you believe this is truly God and you're learning the skills. We waste so much of the engagement just getting the party ready while the, the couple that are actually getting married are either living in sin or arguing with each other the whole time. Well, imagine if I would wanted to become a priest and, and that's what I did the whole time I was in the seminary. Imagine if I was, um, I don't know, living unfaithfully with with uh, multiple people or uh you know just just arguing with my professors trying to get them to give me a passing grade what kind of priest would i be so you, if you take it with the same degree of seriousness i need to learn things i need to pray about things i need to listen to god's calling i need to make sure that we're both on the same page about taking this very seriously 
then you can see that marriage really is a marriage of three. The man and the woman being totally open to God's will, believing that God has ordained this, has asked us to do this, and ask God to bless us with the wisdom of the church, the spiritual practices and discipline of our faith, and, and, and then to become a witness to others, not of perfection, but of faithfulness. So I ask Almighty God to help our married couples to really turn to God as the source of their love and their sacrament, their vocation. And I ask couples that are thinking about marriage to begin with the question by turning to God, first and foremost, and then taking very serious their time of preparation. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit.